As a freelance chef, mainly in and around the London area, I get the opportunity to work in some amazing kitchens with some great chefs. You name it, I'll probably work there. And in my next few videos, I'm gonna be taking you to some of the places that I've worked. I'll also be checking out some great places to eat. And I'll also be giving you a little bit of background history on some of the places that I visit. And on that note, without any further ado, let's go and check out today's destination. Hi everyone, today I am heading towards Wimbledon because I've heard there's an absolutely fantastic traditional Brazilian restaurant called Toro. And as Brazilian food happens to be one of my favourite, I thought I'd treat myself. But before we go and visit Toro, let's talk a little bit about Wimbledon. Now for those of you who don't already know what Wimbledon is famous for, well, let me enlighten you. Tennis. Yep. Wimbledon is famous for tennis. In 1877, the first Wimbledon tennis championships took place. It was only a men's singles that year, but it has since gone on to be one of England's biggest annual events. One of the main snacks traditionally eaten at Wimbledon is strawberries and cream. And the main reason for this is because strawberries are at their ripest during June and July when these events normally take place. And with that, that's about it for Wimbledon, I'm afraid. Oh, hold on a second. Oh yeah, one more thing. For those of you that are old enough to remember, don't forget the Wombles. Yes, the Wimbles of Wimbledon, or is it the Wombles of Wimbledon? Without further ado, let's go and check out Toru, the Brazilian restaurant, the main reason why I've actually come to Wimbledon today. So I'm in the Brazilian buffet restaurant, Toro, and look at this, everything going on. Feijoada, feijoada, farofa. Everything you could possibly ask for. Absolutely amazing. You've even got some cassava there. Look at that cassava, chips. The rest of it, they look like coxinhas, mini coxinhas, croquettes. Ah, oh, this is making my mouth water. Absolutely amazing. This is home for me. I love this stuff. Cold buffet, tomatoes, salad, potatoes, fresh fruit. Yummy. I haven't got a clue what that is. Anyone knows, comments below please. And of course, potato salad. Look at that, amazing. Oh, sirloin steak, look at that. There you go, thank you. Oh, lovely, thank you. Chuck it on. <laughs> 
only got uh, fat. Can I have another bit? Sorry, you have another? He's, he's, he's got fatty bit. I like the fatty bit. Yeah, I'm sure, but not only fat. <laughs> 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 if you want a bit of English as well, don't you? Can I get some? He does, he's Brazilian. <laughs> So this is a little card and what happens is all the time you got this on green you'll carry on getting served with meat. As soon as you turn it over. Yes please, yeah I'll have a bit of pork loin. Pork loin coming up being carved onto my plate. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, James. Yeah, as I was saying, as soon as you turn it, as soon as you get yeah, that's no, thank you. As soon as you turn it over, you don't get to have no more. So yeah, at the moment, I'm keeping it on green. Linguiza, linguiza, <laughs> yeah, linguiza, which means it's tongue, isn't it? What about me, por favor? Obrigado. Todos falam pouco português. Fala pouco, pouco português. Eu vou falar um pouquinho. Fala bem, fala bem. Obrigado. Obrigado. Então, esse é o meu português. Eu vou falar. A sausage, que é... Fala bem, fala bem. Sim. Linguiça. Lovely. Olha isso. Barbecue king prawns. Fresh grilled king prawns. Sim. Obrigado. Eu vou falar um pouquinho, senhor. Eu vou ter um. Pode ter um, por favor? Só para que eu possa testar. Look at that. Love a little king crawl for me. Call me a pig, I don't care. Yeah, please do, yeah. Fantastic. I have to say, I'm sorry, but you can take your fine dine and stick it up where the sun don't shine. This home for me. Fish wada, farina. Beautiful. Thoroughly enjoy this. This is where it all happens, all the meat getting freshly cooked here, barbecued and uh, yeah this food is absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend coming here if you like your barbecued meats, um, feijoada, your Brazilian style, churrasco and everything else that goes with it then definitely do not give this place a miss. It's absolutely amazing, all the meat going around there, look, rotisserie cooking. Oh, just enough to make your mouth water, isn't it? So people often ask me, what is my favorite food? Well, I'm gonna turn it around a little bit and say, um, if I was to choose my last meal, what would it be? I've just eaten in Toro, which is behind me, which is Brazilian food, and Brazilian buffet, um, come, yeah, Brazilian food, basically. And to be honest with you, it's a pretty damn good contender. Yeah, if I was asked what would be my last meal, I think it would pretty much be um, what I've just eaten. Absolutely amazing. So if you are in the area, Toru, as you can see in the back, absolutely amazing food, Brazilian food. Yeah, definitely a, a top contender for me. Um, it is what it is, carved meat, barbecue, everything else. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Chef Travels, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully, see you on the next one. Cheers.